Hello and welcome back to another video. So today we'll be going through this lovely integral here. So the integral of x tan squared x dx. All right, let's dive right into it. So the first thing that we will probably notice about this is that we're going to be using integration by parts. So really quick, what is our integration by parts formula? Well, that is the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus the integral of v du. Okay, so we'll use our Li-8 principle, so that's L-I-A-T-E, to select our U. So that stands for logarithms, inverse functions, uh, algebraic, trigonometric, and exponentials. So that's going to let us pick our U. So the first one of these that we see in our problem here is the A. So we see an algebraic function in here, and that is just the polynomial of X. So what we'll do here is we'll just say that, well, U is equal to X. All right, so now we can really quickly figure out what is du. So du is obviously then just equal to 1. Okay, so that means that our dv must be equal to tan squared x. So let's get that written out. All right, and I know I can rewrite tan squared x as sec squared x minus 1. So we might end up using that. And so if I wanted to integrate v or dv rather, to figure out what v is equal to, now is a time when it is actually much easier for us to integrate sec squared x minus 1 as opposed to integrating tan squared x. So what we get now is that v is equal to tan x minus x. Okay, so all we need to do now is start putting all this information into our integration by parts formula, and let's see what we get. Okay, so now the integral becomes the integral of x tan squared x dx is now going to be equal to x tan x, and there's brackets there, of course, minus x. Now subtracting the integral of tan x minus x, and that's just coming from our v term, and multiplying it by du, which is 1, so we don't really need to worry about that here. So this just now becomes minus integral of tan x minus x dx. And so when we expand this bracket out, let's see what we get. So we'll now have x tan x minus x squared. Now minus the integral of tan x. So we know the integral of tan of x is normally minus the natural log of cos of x. But because we've already got that negative sign out the front, we know that it will now just become plus the natural log of cos of x. And then lastly, integrating minus x, but again, negative out the front, so that will become plus x squared over 2, and then of course, plus c, can't forget that. All right, so now let's just collect like terms, and our final answer will simply become minus x squared on 2, plus x tan x, plus the natural log of cos of x, plus c, some constant term there. And that brings us to our answer. So if you have enjoyed today's video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and as always, stay curious.